what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about jeepers creepers 4 in this video here again today jeepers creepers 5 as well that's why i've mostly titled it regarding jeepers creepers 5 jeepers creepers 5 of course again has not been confirmed but more nuggets have come and this doesn't sound too promising from what i've now just been able to discover so firstly shout out to you killjoy jick uh because i know you did a video on this too i found another interview and i know i quote tweeted your video tweet and told you about this and swapped inter interviews with you also so timo was asked about this trilogy and what to expect going forward because we know four is intended to be the start of a planned trilogy or that's what they hope this was what was told to us in 2021 when the first press release came out from variety now when asked if four was part of an already planned story or if they just basically keep winging it in an interview that again i'll leave a description in i'd leave a link to in the description and this other one i'm going to talk about when asked that question Timo said, the fact is, I don't know myself. I only know this movie, and I don't know what the writer and the producers have in mind for the future. Obviously, they only revealed it up to this point. They didn't tell me that this is the direction it's going to go or anything like that. So they may very well have a clear idea, and I could be, and I, I would be surprised if they haven't thought about it. You would be surprised if they haven't thought about it, but at the current state, my knowledge actually starts and ends with this movie what like like bro that's not a response from someone not a response you would want from someone if you want like to have any kind of confidence from a fan base going forward when it relates to you guys working on these movies especially coming out of this fourth movie he also said he'd love to continue as director if selected and i hope they don't select him or anyone else involved with this train wreck and now as you guys see in the title and the thumbnail i'm going to be talking about the creeper being in space so timo was then asked about the scenario he'd like to see the creeper in next and this is what he had to say well i always think that the creeper versus the dark side of the moon would be really nice oh my god he said i don't know i'm gonna leave that to the writers themselves because they probably have already thought about it but what i can say is that the creeper character itself is a fun character because it's a different kind of character in a way that it clearly has me mechanical abilities he's got a car you know he knows how to use it so it's not like a mindless creature he's actually a quite crafty guy and has clearly a sense of humor and even a little bit of taste in music and taste so those kinds of things are elements that you don't necessarily see always in a horror film and or in a creature film i'm gonna not bother reading any more of the excerpt the, the whole comment about him saying he wants to see the creeper versus the dark side of the moon yeah call in call in um optimus and the autobots and call in megatron and his decepticons let's call in the fallen so he can get revenge once again too while we're at it now and call in Sent Sentio sentinel prime as well i don't know why anyone would want to see the creeper in space why would you want to see that and why as a filmmaker who understands this character do you think that would be an appropriate scenario to hopefully explore down the road that is at that point that is highlighting to me you don't know anything about this character this is something that as far as like directing a horror movie was something you wanted to scrape off your bucket list because it, it doesn't make any sense to me now timo has already done space movies however again who in their right mind would want to see this character go to space i mean seriously the answers to me and i know many of you when you read these interviews they would highlight that we need a serious clean slate when it comes to those creatively involved with this if those are scenarios you were thinking about no response related to anything more grounded but instantly jumping to stuff related to related to space like no no you already didn't do a good enough job when it was grounded in gravity why would we want to see it without gravity from you no <laughs> now in another interview timo is asked what exactly was the reason jake sill the producer selected him to direct because this person was actually pressing him about that he has he has no horror background and timo says we just got along well and tick very similarly when it comes to films my experience with with special effects was certainly helpful since we wanted to do something in that direction in jeepers creepers are born i all also have experience working on franchises and know what it means to move in an already established world no you don't no you don't and an answer like that that that's not good you need somebody who knows how to establish an atmosphere somebody who knows how to build suspense somebody who knows how to build tension somebody who knows how to effectively bring out a performance out from their actors and actresses that is going to come off convincing to those that view said movie the performances in jeepers creepers honestly feel like they went through maybe one 
six takes and decided hey yeah we're gonna stick with the worst one and just mesh this all together with some of the most horrible editing that i've seen in this series today with all the off-screen kills and the way the camera kept cutting when the kill was occurring and we just saw drenches or drops of blood like it the movie and the presentation is very unconvincing so we have got to get these folks out of here like seriously as i read the interviews i'm more convinced myriad pictures took them to court for several valid reasons and all they have to do is convince everyone else of that of course this is ridiculous and just completely disgusting to hear now here's a sc screenshot also of Timo admitting that the films before this, so Jeepers Creepers 1, 2, and 3, they are canon and that they are movies that were made in this universe based off of them. Because remember, that's mentioned in the fourth movie too. Okay, but why is the movie set in 2021 and not 2024? doesn't make sense why is the wallace shown missing if she's simply starring as a character in an unsolved mysteries episode that that chase was watching so much is off and does not make sense jeepers creepers 5 should not go to space timo should not be directing sean michael argo jake seal should not be pinning anything related to this and i hope to god that myriad pictures take take your time again jonathan breck not being back that's fine I really truly do not think that is your biggest concern right now. After four, the biggest issue will always come down to, do you have a competent or incompetent filmmaker? Do you have somebody who really is passionate about what they're about to do? And that's not to say that there isn't some slimmer of passion within the man. However, I don't think that people involved with this really went out went out of their way to try to make the best movie possible. As much as again, I know some of you chimed in and tried to tell us in the comment section, you were smelling a cash grab. I would have to say that this feels like more of a cash grab than Jeepers Creepers 3. I don't I know many of you would agree. The lack of promotion, the the really lack of confidence in the product, I would say, but then touting it off as if you're gonna start a new trilogy. No, you're not. No, you're not. And if you are Again, if this lawsuit allegations prove to be true, why would you then want another lawsuit? If what Myriad Pictures is alleging is true, you want another lawsuit for producing a movie without them? So we'll see what happens with Jeepers Creepers 5. And you guys can let me know about all these things down in the comment section below. Read the interviews in the description. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.